There are two common devices that we used in wireless networks. The first one is access points and the other one is wireless controllers. So let's write access points. and VLCs, wireless LAN controller. So what is access point and VLC? Let's check it here. As we have talked about in BSS lessons, there is an access point that we receive service, wireless service. We have a computer here. We receive the wireless network service from this access point and this has a BSS this is a BSS and the coverage area is BSA and this is access point for example there are different access points here all these access points are managed by VLCs so some of them are uh, standalone and uh, autonomous access points, but uh, generally access points are managed by VLCs. So in the access point lesson, I will explain uh, in a minute. So you remember these two components, wireless components, access points and VLCs. The first important device in a wireless network is access point. So there are two access point types. Here I'll write autonomous access points and lightweight access points. The first one is an alone wolf. So here, oh, it's like, it's not like a wolf. So yes, it's better, I think. Yes, so it do not need any VLCs, wireless and controller, it do not need this. So we need to manual we need to do the configuration of this access point manually. So for example, if there is another access point here and this is our BSS, this is our BSS, and a device is getting service from this access point and it's coming to here, it's roaming, and we want this device to get service from this access point too. So we need to configure same SSIDs, same VLANs, manually. All the things are done manually. So this is a little difficult job. So the autonomous uh, access points is good for small networks. For a big network, we cannot use these uh, access points because it is a very difficult job. So lightweight access points are a little uh, more friendly because they work together, for example, uh, not together, but they work with an access VLCs. VLC here. All these access points are managed by VLC. All the configurations are sent from this VLC. All the updates are done uh, automatically. And whenever an, a change occurs in the networks, then this devices are updated dynamically. So here, dynamic updates, automatic configs, etc. And this uh, type of access points are used for large networks. So Let's uh, summarize. The first one, do not use VLC, but here there's a VLC. The first one is uh, needs manual configuration, but in here there is a dynamic configuration and uh, automatic configuration and there is dynamic updates. And the first one is for small networks and the second one is for large networks. There are two common protocols are used between VLC and access points. The first one is LWAP 
lightweight access point protocol and other is control and provisioning of wireless access point protocol, CAPWAP. So it is good to remember these two protocols.